So I'm kind of known, my colleagues kind of joke that I'm known for getting things done and making things happen that they didn't think were possible. Um, for example, when they said, I said I wanted iPads for my classroom, they're like, you can't get iPads for your classroom. I wrote a grant and got iPads. Um, when I wanted Google Cardboards for my classroom, I tried to write Conan O'Brien uh, to get them. I didn't get them, but I tried. Um, and I, when I was starting my student teaching and I didn't have enough money to survive financially for the upcoming year, I decided to go on Price is Right and win a car. And I did, and a bunch of other prizes. And so I, I just I think outside the box to uh, make things happen, and, and I do it for my classroom especially, because teachers, we don't have a lot of money, and I want to provide as many experiences for my kids as possible. People will come and want to get hired on our campus to be a part of that energy, to be a part of the things that she brings to our campus. So just throughout the school, whether it's in her department or other departments, she's really finding a way to bring connection with the kids, that energy, just things that are going to make this stuff engaging for kids. I want my students to feel the same thing that I feel about history, so there's a few different ways I do that. I call them Forrest Gump moments, and I try to immerse my students into the moment of the era, just like Forrest Gump. And we had to throw pieces of paper across the room, and it was kind of like um, bullets, and like you could hear like bombs. So it was to help us understand what the soldiers went through. And it's been a year, and I still remember like trench wars and soldiers. Lately, I've been creating these escape room type lessons, where the students are learning about history or reviewing history through um, solving puzzles and riddles, and they're having to work together collaboratively in order to unlock the secrets of history. There's just so many different ways that I. I try to get my students excited and to love history. I think working with other teachers is important because I can teach them different things, but they can also teach me. She stays afterwards to talk to individuals. She gives them their email, her email, and she mentors them throughout the year. She's helping them grow. At my site, our U.S. history team is amazing, and we are creating lessons together, and it's better to have more minds working on something than just me solo. So I think it's really important for other teachers to reach out and connect and, and use each other for their, their different strengths. I've been teaching EL students for about, I think this is my seventh year, and I've had students that were child soldiers in Africa, gang members in El Salvador. In this year alone, I have eight different countries represented, and some of them have zero English language. So I'm trying to teach them English while also teaching them U.S. history. It has changed the way I teach. One of the sections that Amanda teaches is a, a sheltered uh, U.S. history class, and these are kids whose native language is something other than English. Uh, usually these kids are not very, uh, don't have a lot of self-esteem and she makes these kids feel welcome, feel positive. She gets the best out of all these kids, the, learns the language in, in Chinese or, or Mandarin or Spanish or any other language to make them feel pertinent and part of the course. And the kids soar after that because they fall in love with the language. To Amanda, a student is not just a student, it's not just a number, but it's an actual human being. She cares about their lives and even just simple compliments when she works with students one-on-one. -on -one. It's just so awesome to see that students get little smiles on their faces and students feel good in her classroom because of how she really relates to them. Her class was never boring. There was never a dull moment in her class and she always kept the classroom interactive and engaging. Mrs. Sandoval has taught me a lot about myself. You know, she has taught me to always try for more. Once you get good, that, that's, that's not enough. We did a project and I thought that I did pretty good on it and she balled it up and tossed it in the trash and she said, you can do better. And uh, when, when she did that, it kind of made me think like, if she believes in me, why can't I believe in myself to do better? And I just talked that ever since that day, she was just a great teacher because if it's someone that will do that to help you out, why shouldn't you do that for yourself?